So the next trick we're gonna be showing you on the uh, Keen Ramps two by four quarter pipe at the Haley Isaac training facility is a trick called a can opener. It is extremely flashy. It looks way more complicated than it is. And uh, they're kind of fun and they're honestly pretty easy. Uh, so a can opener is a trick where you approach the quarter pipe riding switch and you scoop the board, you put your front foot on the deck, your back foot stays on the board, you scoop it into your hand, you wrap it around your leg, you put it to tail and you jump back in. There's a lot of steps to it, but in actuality, it's a very simple trick. I think the best way to explain this trick is for you to learn how to do it on flat first. Uh, but first I'm gonna have Haley show you the trick. That trick looks so complicated. Looks like there's so much going on. There's some sort of all impossible going on. But in reality, you're just standing on a foot and moving the board around with your hand. It's really not that complicated. So first, we're gonna show you exactly what that trick is on one flat ground. Uh, if you are standing on the board, act as if you're rolling up to the quarter pipe switch and you take your front foot and put it on the ground. Then you take your foot on the tail and scoop it into your front hand. As it comes around, you grab it with your back hand, and then you're just kind of set up to put it in a tail stall and jump on the board. Uh, I would just honestly practice doing that a couple times on flat ground. Just do a couple. And if you can do that, you literally can just ride up the quarter pipe switch and then throw it in your hand and do it. In fact, the coping and the transition will actually help get the board to your hand maybe even a little bit easier than it would on flat ground because there's nothing on flat ground to toss the board into your hand. Whereas on a ramp, you have a whole ramp to throw it into your hand. And I just realized I'm still wearing this Christmas hat. I need to take this damn thing off. Um, so I don't know. Let's just get a couple. I don't know. Is there, is there any tricks or tips that you would give for this trick? Well, how would you say for someone to learn it? riding up the ramp switch um, so switch rocks are probably mandatory switch rocks even just like switch like just like getting up on the deck because you want to like when you're riding up it's kind of hard at first to transfer your weight from the board all onto your switch foot and then having your back foot on the board and making it guide guide your board up so you can do the trick so maybe pr practice like riding up and putting just your front foot on the deck and then yeah. pulling the board up can you do that for me so yeah, maybe practice, yeah, just putting your front foot on the deck before your board gets to the deck and just kind of pulling the board up with your back foot like this. Just like reach down. Do it all slowly. Cool. Yeah, so you can just kind of like put your front foot way in front of the board, set it on the deck, take your time, reach down and pick up the board and then just spin it around your foot. Let's, uh, let's get another one. Now there's also two ways to come in from this trick. You could do it like she's doing where she's coming in like a sweeper where her foot's not on the tail, but the board is set up as if she's about to drop in, but then she just jumps straight in from that position. Or you could set it down into a tail stall, put your back foot on it and then drop in. Which is not necessarily the right way to do the trick, but when you're learning, I would not be opposed for you figuring that one out first because it's just a drop in at that point and then slowly building your way up to uh, just jumping straight in. Basically, uh, the same way you would jump straight in from a sweeper. Haley, do a sweeper, show them what a sweeper is. Okay. So if you can do this trick, which might actually be a good stepping stone for this trick, uh, the can opener, by all means do it. Ha can Haley do sweepers? I've honestly never seen her do a sweeper, so that was amusing to me. They're not really the same. They're not the same? I I would learn it first just because uh, the way you get in from a sweeper, but like... But the rest of the trick's not the same. Just the execution of the ending is the same. Exactly. The entrance of the ending. The entrance of the ending is the same as the, from a sweeper. Uh -huh. uh, so yeah, super flashy trick. Really easy to be consistent with. Uh, and for whatever reason, anyone 40 and up loves seeing this trick. Like old dudes, like old vert dogs, they, they'll always get stoked on this trick. I don't know why. It's like... 
Yeah, you get a lot of brownie points with them. If they have like an independent tattoo on their calf muscle, they will for sure be stoked to see you do this trick. Uh, let's get a couple more angles of it. Close up, that trick looks pretty cool. Do that again. That looks pretty neat. A very exciting trick for a very small amount of effort. So, yeah, if you're looking to show off to your friends with some flashy nonsense, possibly the pop, shove it, tail grab of transition skating, uh, by all means, learn this trick. I actually think they're way cooler than pop, shove it, tail grabs, though. I think it's kind of a cool trick. If you think... That trick's cool. After you learn can openers, you can learn can opener rewinds. What's a can opener rewind? I'll show you. Oh, like you're gonna like spin it back? Yeah. Okay, show me a spin it back. <laughs> that looks like a lot of effort for a little bit of reward. But let's uh let's let her land it. That looks that's great. That looks scary. So to come back in from that one, you're almost coming in like a Texas plant. You're holding onto the tail and then jumping in, like a Benny Hanna bomb drop. Yeah, you just do can opener and then reverse it. Throw it back. Yeah, but then you jump back What's in. Reverse it. This is not a Missy Elliott music video. Could be. <laughs> Um, yeah, so to come back from that one, you're holding on to the tail and you just kind of jumping back in. It's like you're just hitting the board back with your hands. You could probably do it all day. Can opener, rewind. Can opener, rewind. Yeah, do that. Can opener, opener, can opener. Like do it multiple times. Yeah, I just want to see how many times you can go back and forth. I, uh, all right, we're going to slow it down then. <laughs> Take your time. This is for my own amusement and yours, actually. Yep. Can opener, rewind. Uh, it'd be hard to catch it like this. Okay, we got it. Okay, you got an extra. Oh. 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 oh, wow. That was definitely worth 15 seconds of your time to watch her mall grab, can opener, mall grab, tail grab. Can opener, can opener. Talk about opening a can of worms. That's such a good joke. Do you like that? It really wasn't. <laughs> it was so good. I'm putting it in there. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's pretty much uh, all for today's trick tip. Um, you can obviously purchase this two by four quarter pipe uh, on our website. I'll provide the link below, as well as a bunch of other ramps. We sell kickers, we sell wedges, we sell flat bars, we sell unique obstacles like the tranny ledge which is like a ledge but it's also like a quarter pipe on the front side like a very small quarter pipe you can skate from flat you can also skate it like a manual pad we have a slappy curb uh six foot long slappy curb low ledge combo we got all sorts of stuff so if you want to check that stuff out it's on the website as well as mini ramps every shape and size you can possibly imagine uh thanks for watching and until next time